Now you might have something like a Q-Tone decoder inside your production plant. Now combine that with GPI Commander and you can run an Apple script that starts triggering other things in your system. So you can make REST API commands or maybe you need it to tell you something, you need it to send a Slack message, you need to tally a light. There's a lot of different options you can do. But one of the things I wanted to show was how you can tell on the air node to skip to next. So that's what I'm gonna show in this example. All right, for on the air node, to access the REST API, we're going to follow the instructions here, and I am using on the air node four. So we know that the HTTP port is here. So I went to my localhost because this is my node running on the same machine. So localhost port 4001. And you see it's taking us to the welcome page and the REST API. Now I'm gonna scroll down. There's a lot of good information here, but the first thing we need to start with is how to get a token. And so it tells you right here that you need to put this in. Now that's the default password in the node. So I'm just gonna run that. And you see it's giving me a token. So that I need to keep. I'll just make a new script. I'm just gonna paste that in there. But if we look here, what the possible options are, sending requests that requires a token. So things that actually change the playback. And so let's see, these are our get requests. And we need this one, skip to next. So playback, skip to next. But we do need that token in there. So you should have something like this, localhost 4001, playback, skip to next, question mark, token equals. And now we're just gonna paste that token we got earlier. And if you look here, you'll actually see that the clip will change. It worked, success equals true. We know it worked, we saw the clip change from 30 spot four to 30 spot five. Now the GPI commander uses input actions. So we are in applications, GPI commander, actions, and the input number relates to the actual device input. So if you hit input 14, it's gonna trigger this script. And that's where we have our command to skip to next. And you can see here, and this, these parts are all part of the examples, so those already exist. So you don't have to type all that out, but we're gonna say set skip URL to, and that's the one I just did earlier. It's the same exact address, I'm just making a variable of it. And then I'm making a variable of the curl command to curl dash X, get, and this URL. And then I'm saying do shell script curl command. Now why I did it like this is because I'm making it easier for you. That way all you would need to do is change your token. And of course the IP address if you need to. All right, so that is the script. So now I have my GPI device connected. And when I run input 14, it's going to skip. So let me actually put this right here. You're gonna see 14 flash briefly, and then you're gonna see this skip to the next clip. Here we go, three, two, one. Do it again, three, two, one. All right, so you just saw that we have a script. It's being run by GPI Commander. It's making a curl, uh, a curl command, and that is telling the node to skip to next. And of course you could do it, you know, multiple things inside these Apple scripts. It doesn't even have to be with our app. You can tell multiple things. Uh, you could tell your computer to tell you the temperature if you wanted to. So there's quite a bit you can do with the GPI Commander app and the device in itself, but this is a great way to use those Q-tones, you turn it into a GPI, and you can tell your device to skip to next.